So what we're going to do today is look at low level laser and high power laser. Traditionally, over 500 milliwatts is our high power class four laser. Under 500 milliwatts is our 3B low level laser. For today's demonstration, we're gonna use the Chattanooga Neo for low level. If I come over here to my user interface, I click on my laser icon, put in my code, and I'm ready to go. We have already identified a very superficial lateral epicondylitis on this patient. Our treatment size, roughly, the size of a smartphone, a playing card, but extremely superficial. Put our goggles on, our eye protection. Put up our desired dosage. Now, desired dosage, we know that 0.12 joules per centimeter squared is the initial biological threshold we need to engage biological activity. So based on that number, we could probably count on doing that at least six to eight times over that area. A little more, it's just gonna scatter. We're not concerned with that. It's artificial radiation. Press start and we can begin our treatment. I like to tell the patients, don't look at the light because they're like moths, they go right to the light. <laughs> don't look at the light, but we have eye protection on, so we're gonna be okay. Each interval with this desired dosage is somewhere between 30 to 35 seconds. And again, it's a static treatment over the size of like a playing card. We just move it a little bit and we begin again. Okay, so with our high power treatment now, we're gonna use the Chattanooga high power laser 15 watt. What's so unique about this unit is, it occupies and utilizes three different wavelengths, an 810, a 980, and a 1064. These emission modes in particular are responsible for delivering a number of different things. Uh, oxygenating the hemoglobin on our on our 810. Um, we're getting more of an analgesic alpha alpha delta uh, pain gate suppression with the 980 and with the 1064 we're getting a very deep penetration really co combining and stimulating ATP synthesis. So together all three we're getting a superficial, a medium and a deep penetration. On top of that we have the emission mode stochastic that we're going to be utilizing. Stochastic is exclusive to Chattanooga and it just prohibits accommodation into the tissue at the cellular level because that's what we're doing. We're at the cellular level now with this using a whole lot of energy. So coming over here to our user interface to begin our treatment, always glasses up. I come over, I go through my prompt and with my prompts on this, what is, what is of interest, we have to make sure we have the accurate age and skin type. Yes, on, this, on these high power lasers. With age, hydration is a big concern. The younger the person, the better hydrated they'll be. Increase muscle tone. We don't need as much energy. Um, excuse me, we need more energy as opposed to an older person who might you know, have less hydration and wouldn't require it. That will help us select the protocol, which the machine will do. With our skin color, the darker the skin color, the more of a refraction chance, we wouldn't need, we, we might need more energy and the lighter the skin. The lighter the skin, we could have some reflection. We wouldn't need as much. All these factors, reflection, refraction, age, come into play because the machine can automatically algorithm to the correct protocol to deliver the appropriate energy. You don't have to worry about that. Okay.